Assalamualaikum, my dear brothers and sisters. I hope you all are doing fine by the grace of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Welcome to Alia's Kitchen. This is third week of Ramadan, and Laylatul Qadr nights are about to start. So that's why I brought some simple and quick recipes for you, so we can do more focus on our ibadahs, inshallah. We are making chicken pulao in this pot today. So let's start our recipe now. So let me tell you the ingredients first. So we are taking three cups of rice. I use these standard size of measurement to take our rice. Three cups of water, three by four cup oil, six to seven pieces of chicken around one and a half pounds of chicken with bones, one tablespoon ginger paste, one tablespoon garlic paste, half cup yogurt, one teaspoon of salt for our rice. We are taking one teaspoon of white cumin seeds. One teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of coriander seeds, one tablespoon of fennel seeds, eight peppercorns, two cinnamon sticks, three cloves, three green cardamom, and these ones we will use in our rice. One teaspoon of white cumin seeds, two cardamom, two star anise seeds or badian flour. One teaspoon of garam masala powder, one medium-sized tomatoes chopped, one medium-sized onions chopped, five cloves of garlic, two inches of ginger, two green chilies. So these are the ingredients we will use in our recipe. So let's start our recipe now. So this is our first step, and we took three cups of rice and add six cups of water in that, and then we will soak it. During the meantime, we are following our next steps. So this is our second step, and this is so simple. We are adding chicken and in instant pot, six or seven pieces of chicken, and white cumin seeds, coriander seeds, and fennel seeds, and salt. Bismillah. Then we are adding green cardamom, cinnamon sticks, cloves, and eight peppercorns. Bismillah. And we are adding one tablespoon ginger paste, one tablespoon garlic paste. And now we are adding three cups of water. Bismillah. Because we are taking three cups of rice, that's why we are taking. We will use one is to one ratio for rice and water. So just stir it up. That's it. And then, and then we will close the lid. Bismillah. of all we are pressing pressure cook and we are setting it for 3 minutes for making chicken broth so after this 3 minutes cooking we will wait for 10 minute natural pressure release and then we will turn this valve on to venting side so we will do the quick pressure release after that to so see you after that this while we are making our chicken broth right now so we can utilize this time so we can chop this ginger garlic and green chilies So Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Here you go. And then we will take this out. Bismillah. Our chicken broth is ready, and look at this lovely chicken broth. So we are taking these chicken pieces into a separate bowl, and we will save this chicken broth into another bowl for our next step. So this is our next step. So first of all, we will press the saute button. So Bismillah, and then we will add three by four cup of oil. Bismillah, and now we will add this one medium sized chopped onions. Bismillah, and then we will fry it. Yeah, so you can see it. We are frying. So as you can see, these are light pink in color, or you can say very light brown at the edges. So at this stage, we will add white cumin seeds, one teaspoon, and two cardamom. Bismillah. See, and let it crackle. Bismillah. So onions are also changing its color. Now we are adding this chopped green chili, ginger, garlic. Bismillah. Mm. Awesome aroma is coming, mashallah. And 
As soon as the ginger garlic will fry a little bit, so then we will add our chicken. So now we will add this chicken. We will fry this chicken. So this chicken will be moist and it will get the frying flavor too. Our chicken is fried for one minute and now we will add one medium sized tomatoes in that. Bismillah. And this half cup of yogurt. Bismillah. Stir it up. And then we will add this star aniseed or badian kapoor and one teaspoon of garam masala powder. Bismillah. Mix it up. The star aniseed are optional. Now we will add soaked rice in that, which are these. So bismillah. this stage we will add our chicken broth which we made earlier bismillah rahman rahim and we will add salt in there bismillah one teaspoon salt salt are according to your own taste bismillah we are mixing it up and then we will press the cancel button bismillah and close the lid now so we close the lid and we turn this valve into ceiling position. We will press this pressure cook button and then we will adjust the timing for four minutes. Here you go. Once four minutes will be done, so then we will wait for 10 minutes natural pressure release and then after 10 minutes, we will do the quick pressure release. So our cooking was over and we did quick pressure release after 10 minutes. So it's time to open that up. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So we just open it up. Bismillah. So you can see this. All rice are separated. See, those are not sticky. Now we will dish out our chicken pilau. So it will look like this. And then we will garnish it with fried onions. So our chicken pilau is ready. I'm sure you will love it, inshallah. Don't forget to give me your feedback. Please remember me in your prayers in these blessed nights of Ramadan, inshallah. Take care and see you next week, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.